black holes have always fascinated mankind, and recent discoveries add to the intrigue. The concept of a supermassive black hole, consuming the equivalent of the Earth every second, is fascinating and terrifying. These giants of the universe, made of the remains of dying stars, show how powerful the gravitational pull is to keep the light from escaping. The supermassive energy of a black hole doesn't just capture matter. It is also a movement in space and time. Everything that is held in the force of energy is exposed to unimaginable forces, where time is held in things. The first image of a black hole captured by the Event Horizon Telescope EHT, confirmed what Einstein's theory of relativity had predicted for years. But the more we learn about these mysterious objects, the more questions arise. How are these black holes formed? How do they grow to such large sizes and eat everything in their path? And most importantly, can this kind of diversity threaten the country? The discovery by the James Webb Space Telescope JWST, shook the foundation of our understanding of black holes and their role in the universe. These new observations have revealed a dormant supermassive black hole near our solar system. What implications does this have for our understanding of the world, and will this sleeping giant reawaken and threaten the Earth? Black holes are invisible. Despite Einstein's predictions, it remained a theoretical concept for decades. Although stars emit light, making them easier to find and study, black holes are invisible and absorb all the light emitted by the event zone. The characteristics of black holes, size, spin, and mass are the only parts that can be measured, and they can be understood with advanced tools and techniques. Cygnus X-1, a superstellar black hole, was discovered in 1964 and its existence has been debated for decades. Stephen Hawking and Kip Thorne, two of the leading authorities on black holes, disagree on whether Cygnus X-1 is a true black hole. Although Hawking strongly believed in their existence, he was reluctant to make definitive claims due to the lack of concrete evidence. The debate raged for more than 30 years, until Hawking in 1990 admitted the truth. Cygnus X-1 is a black hole. The discovery of Cygnus X-1 was groundbreaking, but it was only the beginning. With more research, astronomers began to look for evidence of black holes scattered across the universe. Cygnus X-1 was the first, but not the last. This black hole has 21 times the mass of the Sun and is spinning at an incredible speed, approaching the speed of the Moon. The discovery prompted scientists to question their previous assumptions about the nature of black holes. Stellar winds, the energetic streams of particles emitted by stars, cause these celestial bodies to lose mass. But if black holes grow to such sizes, our understanding of stellar evolution and mass loss will need to be updated I in addition to its size, Cygnus X. One also has the fastest rotation speed of any black hole observed to date. This high rotation contradicts models of black hole evolution and suggests that there is much more to learn about these objects. Although Cygnus X-1 has been studied, scientists are still amazed by new discoveries that challenge long-held beliefs. The universe is full of black holes big and small, and we're only scratching the surface of what they look like. One of the most exciting new discoveries is Gaia BH3, a dormant black hole located in the constellation Aquila, just 1,926 light-years from Earth. This black hole, which has 33 times the mass of the Sun, has not been seen for years. Unlike supermassive black holes, which emit X-rays as they consume matter, dormant black holes are difficult to detect because they don't actively absorb matter. Gaia BH3 was discovered by chance during data analysis by the European Space Agency's Gaia project which is creating a 3D map of our galaxy. Astronomers have detected vibrations in a distant star, indicating that it is orbiting a supermassive black hole. Further observations with the Very Large Telescope VLT, in Chile confirmed the existence of Gaia BH3. The discovery is significant because it suggests that there may be even more dormant black holes in the Milky Way waiting to be discovered. The presence of Gaia BH3 also explains the formation of stellar black holes. Scientists believe that stars with lower concentrations of heavy metals are more likely to form supermassive black holes. These extinct stars have less mass when alive and more material that falls into a black hole when they die. Gaia's companion BH3 is a dwarf star, suggesting that these stars are key to the formation of supermassive black holes. Although Gaia BH3 is currently inactive, it poses no threat to Earth, raising questions about other black holes nearby. 
For example, Gaia BH1 is the closest black hole to Earth, 1,500 light years away. At 10 times the mass of the Sun, Gaia BH1 is smaller than Gaia BH3, but it's still an important discovery. As astronomers continue to study these black holes, they hope to better understand how they form, grow, and interact with their environment. The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, the most powerful space telescope ever built, also discovered something amazing. Using its advanced infrared capabilities, JWST discovered a supermassive black hole in the first universe. Located 12.9 billion light years from Earth, this black hole has 40 million times the mass of the Sun and is rapidly consuming gas and dust around it. The discovery of such a supermassive black hole in the first universe is puzzling, as it challenges current theories about the growth of black holes and galaxies. One of the most surprising aspects of this discovery is the interaction between the black hole and its host galaxy. The black hole is rapidly consuming gas and dust, while the surrounding galaxy is forming stars at a rapid rate. This raises the question of whether the black hole creates new stars, or whether the galaxy's growth accelerates the black hole's expansion. This chicken-or-egg dilemma is one of the mysteries scientists hope to uncover as they continue to study the past. JWST's ability to detect these distant objects is due to a feature called active screening. According to Einstein's general theory of relativity, massive objects such as galaxies can bend the laws of space and time, creating a focusing effect that magnifies the light of objects. Later, in this case, a galaxy cluster known as Abel 2744 acted as a focal lens, amplifying the light from the distant quasar, allowing JWST to observe it in unprecedented detail. The discovery adds to the growing body of evidence that supermassive black holes exist in the early universe. These black holes, billions of times the mass of the Sun, may have played an important role in the formation of the galaxies we see today. However, there are still many unanswered questions. How fast were these black holes in the first universe? Did they arise from the collapse of giant gas clouds, or did they grow from smaller, seeded black holes over time? And what role do they play in the formation of galaxies? As we continue to explore these distant cosmic giants, black holes closer to home are providing new insights. SS-433, the most powerful microquasar in the Milky Way, is one such example. Microquasars are a smaller class of quasars powered by stellar mass black holes that host a companion star. Located 18,000 light years from Earth, SS-433 is a binary system consisting of a white supermassive star and a black hole 10 to 15 times the mass of the Sun SS-433 is known for its relativistic jets, streams of matter that shoot out of a black hole at nearly the speed of light. These beams interact with the surrounding material, creating shock waves that accelerate the particles to their maximum potential. Scientists have detected gamma rays emitted by the jets of SS-433 providing new clues that microquasars are responsible for the high-energy cosmic rays blasting Earth. Cosmic rays, first discovered in 1912, are energetic particles that travel through space and sometimes collide with our planet. Some of these particles are more energetic than anything produced by man-made particle accelerators, such as the Large Hadron Collider. Scientists have long suspected that supernovae and microquasars are the source of these cosmic rays, but there is little direct evidence. The recent discovery of gamma rays from the jets of SS-433 suggests that microquasars are atmospheric particle accelerators capable of pushing particles to extreme energies.